What is happening people? United Central here. <laughs> Back with another video on Podcast 86. The work don't stop guys. The content does not stop. I told you guys, we won't bring in you very, very good content. You know what I mean? Like consistent content. And yeah man, Podcast 86, straight jacket podcast. See, you know, are you sure it's not 86? Because I think you might have made... You know what? No, 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 you know what? It could be 87. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, it's all gone mad, mate. Woodward and Ashton, I've got him all in the spin. You don't even know man. what number it is. I don't know what number it is. I don't know what day, what day it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was back on the weekend this weekend, but you know what I mean? It's gone crazy, mate. It is. Anyway, United fans, therapy is in session. You're all welcome. You know what, mate? I'm taking a break from Twitter. <laughs> you know what, man? There's a lot of people saying to me, go get therapy from Nordin, mate. <laughs> I'm taking a break from Twitter, man. I've said it, I've confirmed it last night. Yeah. This is not anything to do with any trolls or anything like that, but I've had enough with bad news, mate. <laughs> My United have absolutely... They've given me... <laughs> they have given me the need to go and get therapy, mate. <laughs> Honestly, it is just bad news after bad news. Leeds last night signing Rodrigo for 30 million. A proven Spanish international. You know what I mean? Every uh, Everton signing. Everton signing about Hamas Hamas Rodriguez. That's a manager with a pull. <laughs> Assistant with a pull. A manager that's getting backed. Not as you do like manager that's getting backed. Different. No, no, but as also though, you need a name. <laughs> and Charlie is a name. Listen, it's getting Rodriguez, he's getting the, Allen, listen. and he's getting Decore. Is that better than Benfield? Or there are big names already at Man United. If you're a footballer, you want to understand play, that. You want to play with Pogba, you want to play with Bruno, you want to yes, play with Martial, I understand. Rashford, Green. You know the talent. There's talent out here. It's not to me too much about the manager, unless the manager okay. knows your your age. For example, I'll give you an example. Mm. Um, when Pep Guardiola went to Bayern Munich, yeah. Pep Guardiola's brother is the agent of. Um, Tiago Alcantara. Yeah. Doesn't mean anything. It, but it means something. Yeah. But Guardiola goes to Bayern Munich. Tiago Alcantara is there. Mm. Guardiola rings up his brother. Yeah, listen, what's our kid saying? Does he want to come and join me at Bayern Munich? That's what I'm saying to you. That's yeah. what it matters when you have the close contacts. Ferguson knew every manager. Everybody, everybody, every manager in the league. He'll just ring people up and go, what do you reckon that player? Do you think he can, is there a business to be done? Mm. That matters. But in these days, it's about the players really. The players you have at the club that can pull other players to come. But anyway, Saeed, taking, you need to de-stress, you need to relax. You're not working, this is where you're supposed to be your summer Listen, holidays. Mate, I'm going back to work next week. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, maybe it's better for me to be at work. You know, it's just, for me, yeah, you know what it is about United, yeah? It's just like, when is there ever good news at United? I know, right? You know what? Shout out to Greenwood yesterday for making a squad. You know, what I mean, making a squad, uh, England squad. But uh, and who made it? And who who got taken out? Yeah. Who got snipered out, mate? Harry Maguire. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's just discuss that before Let's we start. Talk with... about Harry Maguire. Though. You know what it is, yeah. First of all, can I just say? Let's not... put the context here. Yeah, put the yeah. context here. First of all, those of you who follow me on Twitter, that guy Red Devil, I've been. <laughs> I've been having a bit of a laugh with it. You know I've called what? it the Maguire saga, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing out tweets right, left, and centre. Oh, All man. I just said, there's a couple of tweets out there, and people are literally taking me literally. Some people don't know my humour, so I understand those of you who don't know my humour, but I, when I call something a saga, you know I'm having a little just yeah. satire. I'm, I'm taking the mick, right? Harry Maguire ain't going to see no jail cell. Harry Maguire ain't going to... The most that they can do is say to Harry Maguire, you're not allowed to come back to Mykonos, right? Yeah. That's the most. How many other islands are there? How many places in the world are there for Harry Maguire to go? So let's just talk about the defence. Mm. Let's talk about the situation. This situation, Saeed, is not your typical footballer goes out, him and his friends are smashed, they get leery, they smash everybody. Yeah. It's basically drunken people, drunken brawl. Mm. This is not your typical. Now, I'll give you all of the different incidents. There are the famous incidents of Leeds, Leeds, Leeds Ferdinand, Leeds Boy, uh, Lee Boyer, all of the Majestics nightclub. Those of you who are similar age, my generation, you know what I'm talking about. Mm. There is Roy Keane getting smashed up maybe in town. Alleged, alleged getting smashed up and then assaulting a woman. Mm. There are all of these stories, you could say, footballers going to nightclubs and doing madness. Mm. There is Troy Deeney. He went to prison, yeah. didn't he? Like, That's you know what I mean? One of the lessons, because he got into a scuffle with somebody and then smashed him up. Mm. You. This does not look like that. From the outside of it, when we heard these reports, 
what we heard was uh, Harry Maguire in a nightclub in Mykonos, blurry, people a bit of drink, bit of drug info, you know, yeah. drinks info, not drugs, sorry, drinks info, allegedly got into a little fight. So we're thinking, you know what, that's nothing, that's fine. From everything what Harry Maguire, his friends and family are saying, this is, sounds like an episode of yeah. EastEnders. Yeah. Like I said yesterday, this has got more t twists and turns than a than you a do. roller coaster black pool. You know what I mean? <laughs> like a roller coaster. This is. I'm telling you. This Charles has Blackpool, more, by the way. more twists and turns than a roller coaster at Blackpool, mate. You know what I mean? Oh, like the big one. You know, like sharp corners and then drop. Oh, man. This, this, I don't do roller coaster, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I'm out of that equation. Yo, yo, shout out to Sailor, man. You know what? We took him, one of my big, one of my brethren, you know, childhood brethren, yeah. like a brother to me. We went there, we took Signore. You know, yeah, Signore. Yeah, Signore. 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 We went to Blackpool, just a side, side story. We went to Blackpool. He is absolutely cacking it from prison. Anyway, somehow we forced him. You know, like you do the madness you yeah. do, right? Four, five lads in the Blackpool were like, we're getting on a big one. We lit, he's like, he's shaking. Somehow we managed to persuade him and get him on there. I'm telling you, he screams. <laughs> <laughs> All I would say is, um, we might have had to have gone to a hotel just to, to, to make sure that he can wash himself. Wow. <laughs> Listen, this is, like, this is a therapy session. Oh you have to God. make you laugh. Anyway, so. If I just laid it out, side, I'm always sidestepping. That's how my brain works, right? I sidestep. As I laid it out, Saeed, this was not drunken brawl, fights going on, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. People split up, getting arrested, then mm. the police come There's a lot of allegations, though. Listen, Saeed, the way this case has been rushed, so he, what the, the family friend and his brother are alleging, I think he, yesterday was his, was his best, one of his best friends appeared in court. And he was put in the stand as the one of the witnesses to tell the story of what happened. Saeed, disturbing. The what they're coming out with is beyond. It's so sinister, it's unreal. Apparently, Maguire's sister and Maguire Raz is in the club. Somebody comes to Maguire, uh, Maguire's sister, and stabs her with a with something. Sharp object. Sharp object. And inject something into it allegedly. Yeah. Everything is alleged, by the way, because I yeah. don't know nobody coming yeah, after yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, By the way, these are only my views, my understandings, and nothing to do with the United Central. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> views are his own. <laughs> me, me, views are my own. How I understand the story. Yeah. Right. Go. Cool. Anyway, the friend then alleges that she passed out and her eyes were rolling to the back of her head. By that time. There was, apparently these are two alleged Albanian alleged mm. men who did this to her, mm. allegedly. When that happens to your sister, ask the, ask the brother, you're like, what the hell is going on? Mm, sure. So to get to this place, to get to this club, obviously they hired a minibus. Yeah. The friends and obviously the family that's with Harry Maguire. So they were like, right, let's get into minibus. Let's take her to hospital. This is what the friend is alleging in court, right? Mm. On the way to the hospital, what they thought was going to the hospital, they went to a police station. Then these undercover un uh, police police people, policemen, who are not wearing anything to identify no. those police, jump out. And that's quite common. You know in, what I mean? In, yeah. In, in, in other countries. Yeah. Jump out and grab them up, and then scuffles takes place. And this is where he's alleged. One of the things that he got found guilty of yesterday was that him saying, "Do you not know who I am? I'm a man." You know. Anyway. So can you imagine, your sister's in a club, apparently, so, I, mean, I don't know where the Albanian thing comes from, I'm thinking, you know what, too many people have been watching, you know, I mean, yeah, Liam Neeson, that. no, 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 Liam Neeson, <laughs> and um, what's, what's, what's that yeah. called? Get his... Also, Top Boy as well, if you watch Top Boy as well, there's a scene where they say, you don't mess around with Albanian guys, you know, he shout out to Albanian guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is no disparaging, first of all, we're not disparaging the Albanian, uh, nah, the nah. Albanian family out there, the Albanian massive, because we believe that no one mark, Albanians are not more criminal than Brits yeah, yeah, yeah. or we'll just tell us any of that, you know what I mean? People are people, regardless, you know what I mean? But it's that Liam Neeson film, innit? That when he goes, like, I will find you, yeah. I will, and then I will I'm hunt you yeah. Yo, that's what it's, that, that to me, there's a, people on Twitter, innit, having to like me, having an absolute laugh with it. But, 
So apparently they were on their way to the hospital and then undercover police have apparently told the driver as he was leaving. So this would be un to, uh, to be unknown, like mm, not cause the, the Harry Maguire and, and, and his friends and family don't know this, but the undercover police has told the, the driver of the minibus to take them to the police station. Then police who are not identifying as police in terms of uniform, you think it's a kid, right? right? Get grab grab people are grabbing people mm. out and then the tussle takes place and then harry Maguire alleges that he was kicked his friends were, were kicked and, be yeah. and, and beaten and that's why he says in his, his statement the other day that um what his statement on yesterday Instagram. night okay, uh, yeah. you know, like last night saying that he's a victim yeah, well, he's, yeah. Well, in the statement he said him and his friends and family are a victim of this anyway that is alleged saeed that is some serious. That's like, yo, that's and a why movie. Why did they put the court case on it without even getting defense? Well, well, this is what, what, I'm, saying to, well, this is what I'm saying to say, right? So I'm gonna make a couple of things. I'm gonna now make a couple of disclaimers. The disclaimer that I'm going to make is that, regardless of wherever you go in the world, if you're a footballer, yeah, if you're a high-profile person, there will be always people try to set you up and do of madness course. to you. There's, yeah. there's countless evidence. Yeah. There's countless evidence. Not meaning by everybody. And another thing that I'm putting out there as a disclaimer, this is not just on the Greek people or the Greek police, but police everywhere, judges everywhere. There are some corrupt people, mate. I don't care what anybody says. Mm. Cor corruption word, happens in word, this city word. where we are now. It happens in all four corners of the world. Police are corrupt. Some judges are corrupt. And just because somebody's high profile, they think, yo, we might get high pay. And then the mm. whole... Uh, you know what I mean? And the media attention and all of that. Mm. People are getting limelight. Solicitors are getting paid right, left and centre. Yes. So it, it's all money at the end of the day, right? Mm. Did they, no, they write no, the reckoning on this then? No, I am The money not. that was involved. What I'm saying to you... you know I mean, I, the listen, Greek, Greek have already got a bailout. You know what I mean? It's another bailout, this, isn't it? Even the Greek. You know what I mean? They haven't got... They, <laughs> you know what I mean? They've got, got financial problems as it is, you know what I mean? Shout out no, to the Greek people. No, you know shout saying, out but. to the Greek people. And this is not disparaging. No, 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 no. Again on the Greek people, but some police are corrupt and there is allegations. So other things that I know, you know, most of you know that I follow world politics very closely. Mm. I know that, um, that certain police are in, especially Greek police, but police all over the world anyway, are, in, are kind of a like, kind of infiltrated by local crime bosses. Mm. That is a fact. That yeah. is a fact that those things happen. Now I'm, it happens in this country. Most of you don't know about what happened to Stephen Lawrence. Stephen Lawrence, right, got murdered in London. It's one of the, like, Stephen, Stephen Lawrence was one of the most murdered in terms of racist yeah, 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 police course. and brutality in yeah. this country because the police didn't report it. But unbeknown to anybody, Stephen Lawrence, the people who murdered Stephen Lawrence, their dads are connected, right? Gangster connected in London. They, they have houses and that in Spain and whatever. And some of them guys were on a run anyway. Mm. These are the... The, 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 these are the fathers of those kids who killed Stephen Lawrence, mm. but they had certain police on the payroll. So, so the reason them? why Stephen Lawrence's murder wasn't fully investigated because there were corrupt police in yeah. the Metropolitan of course, Police. Of course, I've we're got, trying to cover it. Listen up. to me, I've got countless stories I could tell, but I ain't gonna go and do it on camera about Manchester City. It's not about corrupt police. So this ain't about Greek people or Greek police. Yeah. It's just work to be done. There are dodgy police everywhere, and I, and I tell a fact about Greece as well. There is. There is a neo-Nazi organization called Golden Dawn. Research it, most of you. Go and look onto them. There was, I, I remember reading at the time what were the, the, the dire financial situation, what was going on in Greece, right? And what the European Union were doing to people in Greece, right? In mm. terms of enforcing this austerity on them. That, that Golden Dawn, which is a Nazi organization, criminals, in, were in heavily infiltrated uh, the Greek police. So... All of it is out there. Nothing wow. I am I didn't, you saying. Know I didn't think that, you nothing know. that I am saying, right, is is don't take it in my word. No, Go no, and no. research it. It's research, Google's yeah. there, right? So don't so take you're trying to say the What Greek I'm police. trying to say to you is this sounds dodgy. This ain't no normal it does sound in the dodgy. club. Because how can you get charged quickly without having a defense lawyer, without it being a public? No, we, no, 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 no. Having it you had you already had a defense lawyer without being had without the defense being allowed to build the case the there defense. you go that's the one for me rushing through this like this sounds like a this likes like a gun you know what i mean gunshot trial man yeah you know man. What I mean? it's just like Trust yo me. this is how boom, it is boom, let's get boom, him boom boom get, get him guilty and then they're saying he had to apologize but if you know that if you're harry Maguire, if you're his family if you're his sister yeah. and these things happen to you how enraged would you be? Of course, you may How have enraged been, would, you know, would you? Because your life on the line here. Yeah, yeah. You could have been in prison, by the way. 
I know it's a suspended sentence, but he could have been in prison. They say it's your first case. And the way that the Greek law, from everything that I've read anyway, or, or everything that I've watched and seen, or everything that I've heard from people who know more about this in terms of the Greek, um, Greek legal system, has said that Harry Maguire never, will never be called back. He will never have to, because it was his first offence. Yeah. It's the most and it's not as if you're going to get, uh, what's the word there when you get pub, take one place to the law? Uh, extradited. You won't get no, no, That's no, the thing. Yeah, yeah, you're not getting extradited. And no. That, 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 the Greek law works that like you just pay heavy fine. Oh, and then you apologise. And I was thinking, something sounds dodgy. He's not even gone to court, but the police are coming out already saying, oh, he has to apologise. This all will go away if he pleads guilty and just apologises. No. What? Why would you apologise for something you haven't done? guilty for something you have done. Like I said, I've been taking liberties because I've just found the whole thing hilarious. Yeah. Like, of course, in terms first, of, you know, yeah. when you dissect it, though. <laughs> It's when dodgy as hell, mate. This sounds dodgy. And like I said, if Harry Maguire is then dropped from the England... Um, well, he has now. From, it was included. And I think people are having to go at Southgate. Southgate. He didn't know, though. Yeah, yeah, Southgate. He, and plus, Southgate was right because he didn't know. He was, he was innocent at the time. Yeah. And I know things can be out of proportion, but it's an English squad. The last thing you want to do is jeopardise people's confidences, people's mental, you know what I mean, emotions. You know what I mean? He's a football end of the day. You know what I mean? You might think of a, of what he is and all that, but he's a football end of the day. He's a, he's human, a human being. being. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was calling that. He's a human being. And Gareth Southgate did not know this. But people people are there for to, to put an agenda. People say, oh, Gareth Southgate, sure, no. Is, this is England all again with Real Ferdinand and John Terry and whatnot. And you know what I mean? on this moment, eh, should he now... This is the question that people are putting out there. Should he now be stripped of his captaincy? From, what, from, from everything that I'm, I'm looking at, Saeed, and, 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 and I won't get even shout it out, I'm just, from everything that I've seen yeah. and read, this sounds like a stitch up. Yeah. This sounds, this has got the whole marks of a stitch up. If you would have said to me, right, Harry Maguire and his friends and all of his entourage went out there, got Larry, got, got into a fight, boom, 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 bash, everything happened like that. But from what I, what he's best, one of his best friends is alleging in court, saying about his sister being yeah. stabbed with a, with a sharp object, injected something, mm. her eyes are rolling in the back of her head, they're thinking, we need to get her to hospital quickly, yeah. but we don't know what's happened to her. And the next minute, they, the van stops at a police station and police starts grabbing them. Like I said, all of these things happen. And I think Harry Maguire was stitched up from everything that I'm seeing. I've not got all the evidence. Yeah. I wasn't there. It's only all I know is that. And, and, and also, what is alleged we have said? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not yeah. a celebrity. I know celebrities have been known. There's countless throughout history or throughout times. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's all sorts of reportings that you've seen in media. Salacious reports like of, 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 of famous people going, Do you know who I am? I used to be a doorman, right? I used to work as a doorman, right? And the amount of people that used to come to the door when I'd like, listen, I think we've had enough, mate. Do I'm you know close. who I am? Yeah. That's, <laughs> do you do know, you who, know I, who I am? Do you, if you're if, if, for every for all the years that I worked as a doorman, if for you, every time somebody said there. to me, right, I'd be a, you know what, I would be sitting next to you, you know, I'd yeah. be in Chantra Pay, mate, sipping on, sipping on non-alcoholic champers. <laughs> <laughs> in a yacht. Trust me. So, the idea that that would happen and then he would say, I seriously, so that, so I think there might be some truth to to say. Do you know who I am? I'm the Manchester United captain. I'm Harry Maguire. Well, that's not. And listen, what I'm saying. Listen, the idea that the people in Greece are you telling me they didn't know him. They love football. Of course. They know about you know. They know about European football. Of course. The idea that some of the policemen didn't know, and that's what the the uh, the, the lawyer for the state is arguing. It's absolutely a joke. Like, it is absolute laughable. Like I said, this is not on the Greek people. Yeah. Like I said, p corrupt police, corrupt people are just everywhere in this mm. world, right? Of course. So, from everything that I see of it, I think he could have said, do you know who I am? I'm Harry Maguire. The idea that for him to say, I'm Harry Maguire, I will pay you, let us go. I doubt that. No. I know that's what, I've got a lot of money. I would doubt yeah. that. Because Harry Maguire ain't in, he's not on the other side of the world, he's in Greece. Brit I'm, I'm, I'm out of holiday makers that go to Greece. Unless, island. unless they said, how much have you got on you? Or how much money yeah, have you Yeah, yeah, exactly. And how much, you know what I mean? Are you but, willing to bail, are you willing to bail yourself out? Because you go in prison now. And he must have said maybe then, oh, I've got money, don't worry, I've got money. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be, but let me, let me just go back to the question here. All I'm going to sort of try now has got a big, big decision made. There's a lot of fan base in the, in the Twitter fan base, you know what I mean, that are calling for his head, saying take him off to captaincy for my United. What do you think, honestly, all I'm going to sort of try will do, in your opinion, 
Will he take him off the captaincy? Has he got a pressure now? Has Ollie got a pressure now to take him off the captaincy? It, 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 it depends. It depends. For me, I will back him. Yeah, yeah. So, so it depends. Like I said, I, I was having an absolute laugh with it. Like, yeah. on, 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 on Twitter. As right as right. As right. Because we have to make. Listen, we have listen, to. We ain't got no silence, mate. <laughs> There's no one of the silence. <laughs> We have, to, we have to enjoy humour where we can find it. If you strip away the money, you strip away the thing. Yeah. Harry Maguire is our player. He's a Man United player. There you right? go. He's you know what you said? Real Ferdinand got done for uh, abuse, uh, drug abuse. And no, no, he's alleged. Alleged, like, alleged. So alleged, alleged they said Cantana, that. Cantana, you, you, you yeah, know yeah, Cantana. Yeah. Cantana beat the someone. fascist. No, no, he's a fascist up, mate. There you go. Member then. of the BNP, mate. John Terry called the N-word to yeah, yeah, Anton yeah. Ferdinand. Yeah, yeah. Jamie Carragher spat at someone, he's back at Sky Sports. Listen. Yeah, I mean, there's things people do in life, yeah? But to people say, make mistakes. People, people make, make mistakes, mistakes in life. But this and it's about so banking your player now. Even what I'm saying to you, I would be sitting here saying he's our captain, he's our player. As United fans, we should always back him to a certain extent. Because if he's broken the law, or, yeah. or you know what I mean, on, on, and bought the club into distribution, he shouldn't be fighting this case. Course. But I support wholeheartedly, from everything that I've seen or read about this case, I support Harry Maguire's um, attempt to clear his name. Because this sounds hella dodgy. I cannot stress that again. Yeah. This sounds so dodgy, it's unbelievable, right? It sounds unbelievable. If you would have wrote this as a script, nah, that's a bit far fetched. <laughs> I would have come to you, you know what? <laughs> that's a bit far fetched. There is a director. <laughs> that's what I'm saying to you. So, I just, I think it depends. I mean, today apparently Harry Maguire is going to meet the Manchester United officials. Yeah. Harry Maguire is already, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has already, as soon as he was out of Greek jail, or, or the Greek police station, uh, the the, one of the first phone calls would have been to, yeah, Ollie. to Ollie Gunnar. Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer would have got on the blower and said, Harry, what the hell is going on? What's happened? Right? So me, it just, to me, it's a player-manager relationship now. Yeah, in of terms course. of the trust, right? Yeah. Do I think it's that... It's an £80 million pound signing, a more sensitive signing. We cannot just say, listen, mate, you're going. No, and, no, 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 You know, is this, is this an excuse no, for... No, 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 listen, you know what I mean? The player, he's been scapegoated this season. I said, he's going to say, not good enough. £80 million, pound, whatever, whatever. Is this a perfect excuse now for people to say, you know what, let's get him out now. Nah, While nah, we nah. can now. Nah, Might nah, not nah, lose nah. Harry Maguire next season. Nah. Listen, mate, we're, we're, not, we're, not, we're, not, so, we're not in top four. So, hey, that's not happening. Anyway, listen, you stop, you try to try and bring the football in front of This is about his, his reputation. I understand that, but... Stop bringing football I know, in I understand Has that, Harry but... Maguire been good parts of the season? Yes. Of course. Has Harry Maguire cost Man United games? Yes. Yeah. Has the whole defence of Man United cost... Yes. Yeah. Has Man United football team, as, as, as the coaching department, as, as Ole Gunnar Sister, have they all cost the club games? Yeah. Have they also won games? So what have you say that? Part of the success. The, the player then. Have they been part of the success? I'm yes. not picking out individuals. I'm just saying to you, when it comes to this, from this, what everything that I hear, Harry Maguire, we need to back him because this sounds like a. Uh, excuse the pun, but this sounds like a Greek tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, the, his, wow. him, his family have been stitched up. Harry Maguire. His sister, his friends, have all been stripped. From everything I see from this, from the way that the, the, the how the court case was run, yeah. the way that how it was rushed through, the way that there was no defence of him. So as Man United fans, what do we do? Well, what we need to do is support our player. Because mm. he is not beating anybody up. It's not like he's he's leery, drunken guy no, 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 no. who's going out punching. And and there's no evidence of that happening. There's happened? no evidence of that. If if I'm out with you, say, me and you are in Mykonos, or me and my friends are, and some of my family are there, and we're out in Mykonos, and somebody we related to, or one of our friends, something happens to her, right? The fact that she's a woman as well, like something happened to of her, course. Like, are you and it's a sister, well? sister. Like, are you kidding me? Are, you you forget about being a footballer. All those things go it's out the window. All those it. things go out the window. One thing that I would say to me, I will always think that human beings can make mistakes. Of course. And you know what? People always need to be given second chance, right? I believe that. But also, one thing I do believe is that when the story sounds like a madness and how the Greek authorities have handled this, and this is, you know, I, I keep, I'll, I'll put that out there again. This is not a stain on the Greek people. This is just a police station, 
the Greek courts in that island, in yeah. that specific island, and how madness they're doing. And, and right? it'll be a capital kind of thing, but it's capitalism, listen, you know what I mean? Listen. Getting the money out of the, t you know what I mean, the bricks, you know what I mean? They're getting the most out of the, what they can do. You know what I mean? You don't know, man. <laughs> you know, I just, I just think it's... Yo, you know what you've been reading the Daily Mail too much. You listen, man, like shout out to the Daily Mail. <laughs> No, never shouting out the Daily Mail, yo. The Daily Mail is a racist newspaper, mate. I'm never shouting that out. I mean, man, it's, it's, <laughs> no, it's, it's, no it's, 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 so I, ain't, I ain't shouting that out. They you know what? Me. I think I'm going to go to what Ellis on Harbour Wire. Ellis to me, the captaincy is, like I said, the captaincy is ma uh, matters on player manager relationship, yeah. player manager trust. Cost. That's what it comes down to. Do I think, I said it on the last podcast, do I think Harry Maguire is Manchester United captain? No. I would want somebody to be. But even, I think him going through this might make him a bit more vocal. Well, because don't. sometimes when you go through madness in life, it changes you in a certain way. Or it has an effect on you. So, I would see. But one thing I would say, all of those fans who are bantering Harry Maguire and Man United, you need to take a chill pill. We've always had it. We had Beckham, the whole country hated him. Mm -hmm. We've had Cantona, Ronaldo, the whole world. came from World Cup 2006. Everybody hated him. Yeah. Rio Ferdinand, everybody, like, because obviously he's a mixed heritage man, you know what I mean, a black man. Everybody thinking he took a drug. And it w there was, he, he the, the guys came to his house, or the, allegedly he missed a test. And then the whole England are like, yo, he missed a test, that means he's guilty. And anyway, he was ready for the test. Uh, for the next day anyway, he could yeah. have done it a couple of hours later, but anyway, that was just a mad one And I thought Rio Ferdinand was stitched up there, me personally, he was stitched up, he was fully stitched up um, So, Man United fans, we're, we are, we've got a long history of always supporting our player mm, We've course. got this history, where we're supporting our player, and if I, if, but I I support the right of Harry Maguire to clear his name because this sounds like I said to thumb it up sounds dodgy so I'm not with all these things taking the captaincy off him and all of this and everybody who's on Twitter saying oh this is going to make our club shambles listen we're shambles FC anyway <laughs> <laughs> we are shambles FC anyway you know what talking about shambles mate Barcelona's a bit of a shambles at the minute breaking no, news really. guys breaking news and you know before we talk about who's the link with Messi, this is not dodgy by the way, Messi wants to leave Barcelona. Yeah. This is now very, very true. It all happened quickly last night. It'll be broke everywhere. It must have been broken out to many sources before because the, 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 the guy, the Catalonia president, I don't know if you've seen the statement, but he said, farewell ba uh, Messi. You know what I mean? You've done your service to the football club. Yes. Piol has said something, bye bye Messi. Suarez then had a clap emoji. He yeah, said, yeah. you know what, go for it. Before yeah, we talk yeah. about the, the, the actual like, Messi industry, talk, just talk about in terms of how Barcelona, at the, the football club, is run. How bad is it at the minute, you know what I mean? Well, so it's a club that where they have presidents, same similar to Real Madrid, they have president. you have to vote for president. Mm. You have to vote for the right president, and the president puts a package together, they put a Bartomo, sporting director Bartomo is it called, isn't it? Yeah, so they, they put a sporting director together, they got a recruitment team, so the, yeah. the, the president is the basically acting like, like Woodward, basically. The yeah, president well. then has all of the power, <laughs> And then he, had, he, get, he puts a financial package together, that players want mm. to buy, how the club is run, everything comes from them. Yeah. Unfortunately, Bas this has been coming. When something is so great as that Pep Guardiola peak Barcelona team have been, and that um, Luis Enrique Barcelona team have been, and the other teams that the other managers have took over mm. that still win leagues mm. and challenge for the, for the Champions League. First of all, Messi... Messi's time in Barcelona, that famous team, well, history will history judge that out. team. The history Especially they, 2011 team, listen, bloody hell, 2011, mate. you know, throughout it all, like, they, they, they won six trophies and then won six trophies again with mm. two different managers. It's absolutely incredible. And Messi as a footballer, absolutely joy. Absolute yeah. joy. Mate, yeah. I'm, I'm lucky joy. my last that's, time I've seen him, man. That's what I'm saying. In our last one, we have to be lucky because these players come once in a generation. Yeah. But to have him and Ronaldo compete at the highest level. Wow. You know what I mean? Toe to toe. It be both of them playing in the same league, one playing for Real Madrid, one playing for Barcelona, mm -hmm. knowing the rivalry between these two clubs. Yeah. It was just absolute joy to see. Messi has nothing, he owes Barcelona nothing, mm. he has given Barcelona everything, he's brought so much joy, so much happiness, of but all good things said come to an end, and at this, in this moment in time, is it a Messi versus uh, Bartomo? does Bartomo? is this a message to Bartomo to say, no, I said I want out, you get him out of the football club, so he's 33 years old, but Messi, 
is what he was getting paid a million pound a week. It's not even about money anymore. Million. Messi has got a choice to go any club he wants to in the well, world. Well, the release clause is gone now, by the way. Yeah, you yeah. can go for free. Yeah, 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 of course. For free, guys. Yes, yes it, This it, is absolutely it, crazy. How does he, how is this football work where you can put a clause in your contract saying, listen, if you go past this certain stage, I'm free? It's because. How does a football player have that power? But, but it's also because he's Lionel Messi. Neil Messi has, has had an incredible power and actually for the betterment of Barcelona because I can imagine Neil Messi is a, is a Barcelona fan and he understands that because the way how managers and, yeah. and, and, and sporting directors and club presidents are all controlling around him mm. why he's got so much power for the team to rebuild mm. because it's going to be a massive job to rebuild that Listen, club mate, anymore. Messi leaving like, Barcelona, it's like, it's like something like, you know, like a key component of... Yeah, yeah, of course. Of, of, of but it, need, it needs to happen. To be fair for Barcelona to move on, as, cal as, as, as cold as calculated it is... Mm. There I was think, a day that was going to come. Yeah, it was, it was a day it was going to come, but how, how badly have the board messed this up? Like, you know, you, know, you could have made the... I know they're coming out of Champions League early, you know, picking the right opponents. He apparently, he didn't want Valdivero to be sacked. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, the wrong yeah, appointments yeah. in. You know what I mean? The lack of transfer activity. The yeah. lack of investment in the squad. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's an aging squad, Barcelona. Massively. Like, like an aging squad. And the likes of uh, like, like, Suarez has been told just to leave. You know, he plays not respected in a way where. Saeed, you know what I mean? So, just leave. Listen, Said. Um, I will say this to you. If you've got the wrong people in charge. Mm. I wonder if anybody knows that who, what it means to have the wrong people in charge. Well, you know what? <laughs> Let's have a thing. Oh, it's Man United. <laughs> it's the guy who says, ownership oh, of Man, man. United. He said, Woodward, you're Don Woodward at the helm for you the past what? seven don't, don't, don't seasons. Don't refer me to that as well, man. It's Listen. gone now. That Don Woodward, mate. <laughs> is that, I is don't that want why it. I've heard Barron saying that. Is that why he's, he's getting off Twitter? Is that why you're taking a break That's from Twitter? Listen, man. <laughs> you know, Neil Ashton's had a word and said, you know what? <laughs> Get off the media work now, mate. You know what I mean? You've done your job now. You know what I mean? But let's, 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 let you know I will what? say to you, um, if, if you get the wrong people in charge at the wrong time at your club, it, it can be absolute disastrous. Do you know what, though? Let me, let me say something. The disaster is, let me say something. disaster is that Neil Messi has found himself with the wrong president, yeah. has found the wrong managers, the way Barcelona want this obsessing about the Champions League when they just sacked the league winner. Like yeah. in Valverde, they just sat the league winner in Valverde. Of course. And, and and the way they're doing it without having a proper structural plan, without doing it. And, and the thing about it is that when a team is so successful and it's filled with so many internationals, when key components retire, yeah. if you do not find the other gems, if you're not, if you're not as a club, right, it is your duty, especially for Barcelona, some team that's so ahead, for it not to implode. Of at, course. At, at the end, when everybody is getting older, what you're supposed to be doing is building... The, and is this, is this an end of the Spanish era? No, Spanish it's, era it's, is no, crumbling no. down. Like no. Real Madrid, you know what no, I mean? No, not no, one, let's, let's, they only won the title next season, but the Champions League, they went horribly out. Is this an era where now it's like... It's an know, era of two, 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 of, of two, two and a half, like in a de decade and a half. Because the Premier League is the money where they're at now. The no. Premier League is where the money's at. And that's why I bring the question to you. It's not where the money's at, Saeed. It's not it where, is the, where money's the money's at, though. It's not, listen, it's not because where they get, we're getting the biggest wages. Barcelona, Real Madrid, COVID or no COVID, if they wanted to sign players, they'll find the money somewhere. But one thing... Will they, though? Listen, one thing I would say is that I think it was the end of an era of those two great teams at mm. Barcelona and those great players they've had. But Barcelona have not planned for this no. day. So this is all, what has he done? Imploded in of their course. faces. Because you've got, you, you've got the centre half, yeah. you've got the centre midfielder that have been there, as well as Messi, you yeah. know what I mean, PK, and, and the other guy, you know what I mean, the, the, the P, what's his name? The centre, Yeah. Well, I can never say that, that area's been like, there that for area's gone. That area's gone, and they've, never, they've not planned for it properly. No. They should have got players that they've got, like, a place to replace them in the squad mm. for a long time and then these guys could have gone with the league title Messi could have been saying goodbye on the high and it's difficult always to choose how you to as a situation you bow out to and that's the tragedy of Barcelona the tragedy of Barcelona is that Barcelona as a football club has not helped Messi to have a better goodbye mm. right they've not They've not protected the legacy in that sense. Yeah. But the legacy, we'll talk about legacy. He's got wonderful legacy. He'd be one of the greatest. That's why I talk about legacy in Norwegian. Yeah. Another legacy greatest. would be to finish a career at Man United. <laughs> agenda! Agenda, agenda. Would it not be though? I'm, 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 I'm listening. Talk to me. Manchester United, Woodward, if he was to pull this off, if he was to pull this off, Man United, could he end up at Man United though? We could afford it though. Could we not afford it, Norwegian? I'm, I'm asking you the question. <laughs> Why not though? 
Man United to sign Leo Messi. Could you see it written in the stars? I wish I could say no comment, but since it's a podcast and I have respect for the audience, I'm going to comment on it. Saeed, this is a hogwash. This is the only person that's glad that Messi announced it at that time. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, on Instagram, Maguire must have DM'd him. Said, listen, get me off the front and the back page. <laughs> get me off the front and the back page. Come on, Messi, help me out. But could that be a possibility, though? Sorry. To Messi to join my Sorry. life. Could you not see that, though? It was getting a million a week. It yeah. Was, it was, Manchester United, we're going to come to the statement. Manchester United, a shout out, uh, exclusive. Yeah. Phil Brown. Phil Brown, yeah. Um, Exclusive, who's who, who, who's who's an Irish brother who, who's based in the US, who worked with Man United, who is a journalist, and he's got a brilliant uh, podcast called Beyond the Pitch. Yeah, um, I've just been listening to it the past couple of weeks, and it's absolutely brilliant. He is one of the most vocal anti Glazer Man United fans in mm. the media. Mm. A, a breaking news, and he's alleged that. The comments that from club statement from Manchester United. Mm. Saeed, can you read out a little bit of the statement, please? Well, the statement says uh, it says that my United, uh, my MUSC part of the summer transfer window will not be as business as usual because of the huge economic impact from the pandemic, both loss in revenue and uncertainty over the long term impact of the crisis. It follows on by saying the my United. Is point of view is that the harsh economic reality means that the club must be cautious in the summer to ensure the club's preserve uh, preserves its strength through this difficult period well that's a, a note to Messi then isn't it no to Sancho no to everything mate. Saeed, the idea that Messi unless Manchester United somehow got Adidas I don't know who's with his boot the only way that any club can, can if Messi wants to be paid the, yeah. what, the money wants to play. There are three clubs that can pay this money. Yeah. They owned Man City, PSG. Not Real Madrid, surely. No, PSG. And maybe like a. And. Maybe Inter Miami. And Chelsea. Chelsea? They've just spent all the summer this summer. Saeed, there's a guy called Ibrahim Ramovic. I was going to say we've got Glazers, but. Yeah. Ah! Oh, man. <laughs> I just want Messi at the football club, man. Can I not dream? <laughs> I just wake me up then. Saeed, you can Messi, dream. I just want something to lift the spirits up, mate. Saeed, you can. Can they not pull this off, surely? You know what I mean? Just put a little, you know what I mean? Cheeky yeah. bribing or something, you know? Saeed, Neil Ashton is at the work. So can you also please show uh, the audience what Neil Ashton's been saying? Well. What the breaking news has been that there is a link between Manchester United and Messi. Yeah. Please. Please come out with it. So, we we'll have to be fair and balanced. We we'll have to be fair and balanced, yeah. Well, the, what they're saying is... Um, they are saying that there is a link. Apparently, Messi's entourage opened talks in Man United. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know who the entourage is. Neil! Can you get Neil on the phone? Hello, Neil. <laughs> yes, one of your uh, fans out here. Could you uh, sign Messi? No. Listen, yeah. Neil, what have you been up to? What are you spreading? Stop to spread spreading. false news. Give oh. United fans hope. Stop pulling at the heartstrings of these young fans, man. Oh, it's man. an absolute disgrace. So, well, you it's know what it is, yeah? It's an absolute disgrace, Saeed. Man what is a disgrace? Man United and is an absolute disgrace. And the ways that how their people, media, clickbait crew. That's you know, I would say... On the back of Man United, there's a clickbait industry. The clickbait industry is there and there to be seen. We have to bring it click to you. We news, have to report messy, on it. We have messy, to report right. on it. Click the news. Click Every the news. click, how much does that generate? Ching, 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 Messi Man United, ching, 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 ching. I'm sorry to say, but everybody, every other media outlet uses us. Everybody uses everybody. At the end of the day, we've just got to report the news and we've got to bring it to you, you know, out of respect to you guys and give the fair balance. But Manchester United buying Messi, 33 years old. A million a week. The, the, if, if Messi was ever going to go to a club, Man United have not challenged for the league for seven years. <laughs> yeah. He's leaving Barcelona because of the shambles of Barcelona. He missed out on the league last season. But he entered the shambles to enter another shambles. Does not make sense, does it? Side. Side. See? What happens when you become composed and, and then you start thinking? Yeah, about I start to unravel. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather the shambles of Man United that I could think that but, Messi could come. But anyway, that is a serious statement from Man United. But if Man, listen to me, this is a serious question. 
If he goes to the other side of the road, mate, good night, Vienna, mate. You know, you know that, that word you say, mate. Good night, Vienna, to my United ever doing anything, mate, for the next four or five years. Good night, Vienna, mate. Listen. The, to Listen, me, I said to you, Man City, because they're owned by a country. Uh, PSG, because they're owned by a country. And, and Ibrahimovic is Chelsea. He's owned, he's, he's owned by Russia. You know what I mean? He's owned, Chelsea owned by <sighs> Russia, mate. And that guy's got money, mate. He's got money to burn. He has got absolute money to burn. What's the latest of on um, Malang? Is it Malang? Chelsea. S Chelsea. Free transfer. Man United should have got there. How old is he? 23. What's happened with this guy? How come the club are letting him go? Because they want to, obviously they want to, they, they, there's a possibility that they let him go, but right now there's nothing been resolved yet, as in, in terms of, you know what I mean, but letting he, him out alone. He, he looks quite decent, Saeed. No, he, decent. But, but what's Can the they story? loan him out to us? But what's the story? What's the story? Where is he? Where is he based? It's based, it was based in Nice. Nice. And, and, and basically his contract expired, so he's basically a free agent. And they've got Thiago Silva. There must be something going on because... From from the footage that my friend shared with me on the WhatsApp group saying, Oh, this player looks why United not in for him. That sounds a bit dodgy because is it just But it's a player that can improve wrong? though, that's why they want they want to improve. He's only twenty three, he's very, very young. He can go improve. But the problem is we've got it, it looks like a ball playing centre half. Yeah. It looks like a ball playing centre. So they've got Thiago Silva and Balanza. Leeds have sold Rodrigo for thirty million euros. That's a good quality player. And now Everton Allen. Everton Allen, the core is going there. Messi could go to Manchester City. A little old Man United are still haggling. The statement. So, Aid, can you please remind our audience what I said to you at the beginning of this corona when we were doing um, the podcast? Do you remember me saying yeah. to you, Con, cap more than when I Perfect excuse. If there was ever a club, if there was ever an owners, if there was ever a CEO like Woodward, yeah. if there was ever a perfect storm for a club to have an excuse not to spend a penny on any players to help us compete. And I'm talking about three players minimum who can go into this squad, who can go, some of them can go into the first team, mm. who will help us compete. I'm talking about compete for top four. I'm not talking about yeah. a league, right? That's true. If, if there was ever a club that needed that, it's Man United. Man. Yeah. It's Man United. And I'm sorry to say, Sancho, Manager, the latest, before off camera, you know who I was talking to. You know I'm not chatting absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I t when I tell you things, I told you months ago. Yeah. That Sancho himself wanted to come to Man United. We were sat here with Aaron, and I said to you both about six months ago. I don't know, five months ago now. Six yeah, months about ago, that. Like, six months ago, I said to you, I've got on, I've, I've I've got somebody I trust who's connected to footballers at Man United, and they told me that. San Sancho really wants to come to Man United because of the friendship with yeah. Lingard. Yo, shout out Lingard again. Shout out Lingard, yeah. team, You know what I mean? All the haters can hate, you know what I mean? Let's hope that this is a good turn mm. in form. And Greenwood. Uh, and and Greenwood. Like I said, come on. I mean, come on. <laughs> Greenwood had to get in there. Man. Yeah, oh, The might. gunslinger had to get in there. And, and also Phil Foden as well. Yeah, shout a gift from Manchester, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is England at the end of the day. Give the young, give the most talented young players a chance to play Southgate. And that's one of the reasons why we like Southgate. And also, those people coming for Southgate. Oh man, you know, Listen, they've always got excuses. Eh? They've always want to come. They all got agenda because he tells some of them too much of the truth. There's an yeah. agenda. I'll tell you off camera why yeah. Southgate gets yeah. gets dragged because Scar Southgate, when he first got the job, told Cobbler home truth about this country. Of course, and certain section of this country do they not like, like to hear that. Yeah, yeah, they don't want to want to hear that. Um, but, um, so I, I just I can't see it, and that's why I say like, throughout this transfer, one thing. What up. what have you noticed me? Stay calm. What have you noticed me to be? I don't get too giddy. No, nobody's getting giddy. To me, I said, I'll get giddy when the day that we signed a, a, sporting, a footballing director and a, and a recruitment specialist, a Man United, that can sort this mess that we're in. And, an, and unless that changes, you won't see me get it's excited, really. I'll get happening. excited about the games. I'll get excited about goals, whatever. But in terms of the structure of Man United or the transfer policy of Man United, I won't get excited. But some of you were all just wheeled in slowly. You know what I mean? Mm. You know what I mean? Wheeled in slowly. Things are changing. Yeah. We're, listen, Harry Maguire was obvious. Six weeks he took Man United. Leicester said 80 million. And six weeks later, it was still 80 million. I'm, I'm, how many more can I repeat this again? Oh, the man. shambles. The, since since we signed Lindelof and Bailly, Lindelof or Bailly to me came out, especially Bailly came out of the blue. Out of the blue, yeah. Lindelof, we were linked with him for and a bit. Yeah, and, then and then he came. 
But Bai was the last person that was out of the other than literally Igalo knocking on some door, right, at four o'clock in the morning. And yeah. that's why I called it on the, on the United Stand and I thank you. Was it a panic bike? I called it an embarrassing. <laughs> Igalo had to go four o'clock in the morning, knock on some door and go, please let me go to Man United. It's my dream to play. I've supported that club since I was a child. Please let me go. Shout out Igalo. No. <laughs> Shout out. And like I said, most some people took, took what I was saying, it was a shambles. As, as that one when, when I was on the United stand after mm. the game when we signed Nigalo. Some people on, on disparaging the player. I wasn't. I was disparaging the way we do things. Of course. It's ridiculous. And only because Oli knew his agent. Yeah. Well, no, really, there's two weeks left on the trans uh, no, no, not transfer window, but two weeks left until the season probably starts. Mm -hmm. Two and a half weeks. You know what, mate? It's, it's not looking good, mate. And you know what? I have no confidence in the board. That's why I'm taking a break from the Twitter. I have no confidence in any news outlet coming you in. You shouldn't take a break from Twitter. So it, this is part of being a Man United fan. You Listen, can't run mate. away and skate. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not you, getting involved you, you, in, in, you, in the Twitter rumours. I'm sorry to say, guys. I've had enough of the Twitter rumours. I'm realist. Come, no, 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 listen, no, no, no. I'm realist. Me. Come for I'm it, not, I'm not tweeting anything listen, yet about come, transfers come. to the football club. <laughs> Get something there because it's just it's it's making me not feel that we're gonna get anyone. So I'll wait till the news comes. Yeah, until it breaks, I'll I, wait. I just want to reassure the audience. We'll be here. What no matter. I just want to assure. I'll I'll make sure he's all right. He's not trying to find therapy. the cliff. We're doing therapy or stuff this. like that. You know what I mean. I'll, I'll make sure that he's yeah. he's all right. So do not worry about Saeed. You know what <laughs> I mean. Don't worry about Saeed. He's got a lot of people who are. Protecting him, yeah. You know, what I mean, he's got a lot of love in his life. He's just that Man United. I put him through the grinder. I mean, come on, who would you? Can you imagine dealing with Neil Ashton living with you on a, during a lockdown? Exactly. And yeah. now he leaves his, his army of bees. You know what I mean? Is you know it? what I mean? In his garden. <laughs> <laughs> no, it did. Socials. That guy, Red Devil, for all your therapeutic needs, and oh, what I can I say? Is There's that, a lot of people that want it, you know. By the way. Yo, it's got it's gonna come. I promise. Never have to make it all. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's gonna come. It's gonna come. And all I would say was, we've got to get behind Harry Maguire because to sum it up, we have to get Ma get behind Mar Harry Maguire. By this the way, Man United bid for bold by the Shilia. Breaking by. news. So let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. Eh? We're getting breaking news. Man United bid for bold Shilia. Who is it called again? Badi Shali. Is that an Italian player? Probably from Monaco, centre back I think it is, maybe. Yeah, centre back. I've never heard of him. It's 25 million bid, apparently. Let's have the breaking news. So, for, for where is it coming from? That Monaco have retracted an opening bid for by the Shield. Apparently, it's young coming though. Okay, no, I, I did see him doing it. So, so let's read, read, read the statement. Let's see. What does it say? Man United have rejected 25 million bid for Man United. Man, Man, Manchester United have, have rejected. Yeah. Monaco, Monaco have sorry, Monaco have rejected twenty-five million pounds offer from Manchester United for the defender. But Benyot, Benyot, Badiashili, source cost of player. Monaco says unless they make a Martial like unfusible, he will stay. Well, that's over then. That's over. <laughs> You know what? See, I we're we're leaving on that one, eh? We're leaving on that one, eh? <laughs> guys, you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to United Central Podcast 87, guys. Make sure you like the video. The, the, the latest podcast is nearly reaching like 15k already. So shout out to you guys for supporting the channel. And yeah, man, this guy, Badia Shilia, already apparently they rejected a deal. That is the club we are right now. Guys, and if you're watching this, give us a follow. Yeah, um, give us a follow. Give us a follow. Follow all his socials. Will be, link will be in the description below. And yeah, man, United. Messi? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Guys, like the video, subscribe to that. Why would Messi come to a club that's in a mess? Literally, you always have to be a party people, don't you? Sorry. Guys, take care, bye bye. Peace.